I think that the saints created idols and stories to teach man how to lead a good and correct life. How can you call it nonsense? Need the question be answered? Have the saints First of all, who is a saint? The man who struggles to become something, right? The man who gives up the world, or really hasn't given up the world. The world is himself. He may burn inside because he may be sexual, he may be angry, but he's boiling inside. Outwardly he may torture himself, put on strange clothes, slightly neurotic, and you soon will begin to worship him. Out of the window, the speaker was watching one day in Benares a sannyasi in robes came along, sat under a tree with some kind of stick or steel, something in his hand, and began to shout. Nobody paid any attention to him. First four, five, six days. As what the speaker was watching all this from his window at Rajgarh. Then an old lady comes along and gives him a flower. And a few days later there are about half a dozen people around him. He has a garland, at the end of a fortnight he became a saint. I don't know if you realize, in the West, a man who is slightly distorted in his brain sent to a mental hospital. Here becomes a saint. I'm not, I'm not being cynical. I'm not being rude, insulting, but this is what's happening. Sannyasi is no longer a sannyasi. just following the tradition. And have the saints created the war, brought about through stories, ideals, a good society, a good human being, which you are the result of all that. Are we good human beings? Good in the sense, whole, not fragmented, not broken up. Whole, good means also holy, not just good qualities. I don't mean that good behavior, good being kind. That's only part of it. Being good implies an unbroken, fragmented, harmonious human being. Are we that after these thousands of years of saints and Upanishads and Gitas and you know all the rest of that? Are we just like everybody else? So we are the humanity. To be good is not to follow. To be able to understand the whole movement of life. I must go on.